comes from change. Diversity and the ability to adapt. Energy suppliers worldwide are facing unprecedented challenges to ensure security of supply in the face of rising energy demand. This is the story of a project team looking for solutions for the next generation of relay test sets to meet these challenges. This is the story of the new CMC 500 from Omicron. Evolution never starts from scratch. Our customers have been successfully utilizing more than 30,000 CMC test sets for the past 35 years. We have always been in very intensive exchange with our customers. And it has been very important, especially at the beginning of this project, to be close to them and get feedback about their needs and wishes. The key question, however, went one step further. How could a relay test set look like to meet the challenges of the future? Necessary grid expansions with new, partly digital substations, ensuring cybersecurity and user safety with increasing shortage of skilled professionals. These are all concerns our customers share. There were indeed many wishes and requirements that would fulfill the needs of our customers even better. Its implementation, however, was considered technically not possible. And at the beginning, everybody said, you're not gonna make it. To reach the unreachable, to push the technical boundaries has always motivated us. So the question at the beginning was, can we achieve what nobody else has achieved before? We knew that this would be a big challenge for our team. Nevertheless, we took the challenge to develop the best CMC test set the world has ever seen. The requirements were very different, depending on the application or the regional conditions. There were wishes for three current channels, but also more than nine. Some of our customers were asking for higher amplitudes and higher output power. And some were even asking to use a CMC for primary injection. Our goal was to develop a modular device to meet the different customer needs the best possible way. A truly multifunctional device. Since the launch in the year 2008 of the CMC 356, the norms and also the requirements for personal safety constantly evolved. Minimizing safety hazards for our users stands above all and always has been our top priority. Through complex risk analysis and probability calculations, we could identify even the smallest weaknesses. We have created workflows that have become even simpler and more safe to the user. For example, through solutions that prevent unintentional or unauthorized activation of the outputs. For the new CMC, we decided to implement an interlock key and an external emergency switch off, which allows a fast shutdown in case of an emergency. Time did not stand still in other areas either. Cybersecurity has become an increasingly hot topic and it continues to be one. Electrical energy systems are part of the critical infrastructure and must be well protected against cyber threats. For that, we used our expertise with innovative cybersecurity solutions for the development of the CMC test set. It is not enough to secure a device only during the initial development phase, but also to keep it as an ongoing process. The new CMC has a crypto chip that securely stores all keys and certificates, has encrypted communication with all devices and encrypted firmware. We have implemented a process in which we periodically review weaknesses to keep the cybersecurity of our products at the highest possible level. With all these measures taken, we have succeeded in probably making the CMC the most cybersecure test set in the world. We were very proud of all the new features we put into the new CMC. 
But now it was also about meeting the new requirements for output power and also number of current and voltage channels. We unfortunately had to realize that our prototype has become too big and too heavy. Integrating all these requirements while keeping it small and lightweight, that seemed impossible. When trying to design small and lightweight devices, heat is usually our biggest enemy. The smaller the device, the more complicated the cooling. If it wasn't for the cooling, things would be so much simpler. There were only two options, make compromises or take a step back and rethink the entire concept. It's easy to make lazy compromises, but we are just not the guys to make compromises. This essentially meant back to square one. That was definitely the low point. I really had to get out there and clear my head. But ideas often don't come at work, but in everyday situations, when you wouldn't expect them. So the cooling concept was the first step to achieve a new and more compact form factor. To create the most compact device possible, we developed a convertible current and voltage amplifier. There are only very few comparable products out in the market. It's a difficult technical challenge, especially with the expectations we have. We had to redesign every single circuit board and develop an architecture that combines all the electronic components in the tightest of spaces. This project really pushed us to the limits of what is technically feasible. But when we saw that we're going to reach this goal, the project team was overjoyed. I can still remember well when we outputted the sign signal with a newly developed amplifier for the first time. That was really a milestone. We did it! We managed to increase the performance significantly, we are much smaller, and we decreased the weight up to 25% compared to the CNC-356. After the prototyping phase, we took the CMC into the field to ensure its reliability. Quality and reliability is something our customers expect from our test sets, without any compromises. We tested the new CMC under extreme conditions. Heat, cold, we dropped it repeatedly. Because the CMC needs to work anytime and anywhere. I'm very proud because a huge team effort went into this product. We've definitely created a device that will undoubtedly set new benchmarks when it comes to protection testing. We went to the limits of the technically possible. And in certain areas, we push the boundaries even more.